Russia. Tom Hammond, Carol Lewis, Dan O'Brien, Dwight Stones at the U.S. Open Track and Field Championships where the women's 100-meter dash is next. Now, Marion Jones is not here. She is in Paris at the moment, which means this race is wide open. Certainly, Christy Gaines has a chance. She definitely does. You know, she was second in the United States Championships last year and this year. And right now, she has the second best time in the world this year, 10-8-9. Inger Miller also a threat to win this 100-meter dash. Well, Inger and Christy are good friends, but I think the friendship is out the window as they're vying for that $10,000. Inger, like Christy, just seems to progress every year. She ran 1084 earlier in the year, and she's one of these people who doesn't, who doesn't get phased by Marion Jones. She just goes out there and runs her best race each and every time. She's got a lot of focus, and a win here today would really do a lot for her confidence. Here are the lane assignments. Miller in lane five, Gaines in six, and in lane two, the veteran Carla Guidry who ran a, a tremendous anchor leg in the 4 by 100 relay to give the U.S. a win at the Goodwill Games last Wednesday. You know, I think Christy Gaines is really excited about how her times has been coming down. She was the 1992 NCAA champion, and she is still clocking personal bests each year. Fair start. Gaines and Miller away with Gidry down in lane two and finds. Coming to the line, Inger Miller has the lead. As they hit the finish, Miller wins the 100, 11.03 unofficially. Inger Miller is running very, very well. At the Goodwill game, she finished third, and she's just been running with more and more confidence. You see a big smile on her face. As Dan mentioned, she ran a wind aid at 10.84 at the beginning of the year, but struggled a little bit at the national championships. And here we see a, a shot of the start. Inger got out very well. Uh, Christy looked like she labored coming out of the blocks in the first few steps. I think that's, won the ra that's what won the race for Inger. You see them coming straight at you. Inger Miller on the right side and Christy Gaines on the left side. At this point, Inger Miller is already in control of the race. You see Christy Gaines, in fact, drifting into Inger Miller's lane. But Inger has it going away. And Gail Deaver's not competing today, but is here to honor Jackie joyner Kersey, And she's with Dwight Stones. Dwight? All right, Tom, uh, two-time Olympic gold medalist in the 100, Gail Devers, not running because of an Achilles strain, but, and we're missing you, of course, but give me your strongest memory of Jackie. You've been around her so long. You've trained with her. You've been around she and Bobby. What is your strongest memory of Jackie? Um, I think her courage. I mean, I draw my strength from Jackie. I watch her in 91, just knowing what she went through and coming off the 200, being injured, yet she was able to come back. And then 96, I have too many memories, 96 with her not being able to finish the heptathlon, but coming back, showing that championship spirit, coming back and getting the bronze medal in, in the long jump. That will always be embedded in my memory. She's a great person. Thanks for joining us, and uh, get well soon. Thank you. I hope to. <laughs> Tom? All right, Dwight, the official results in the women's 100. Miller in 11.01 officially. Beverly McDonald second. Christy Gaines finishing third.